Hello again and welcome to this Pixel Matter tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a video overlay. Now, obviously, it's sort of a border or a banner that goes over the top of your videos to advertise yourself or advertise somebody else or advertise your video, whatever you want to put on there. And it just just a nice effect for your video. The style that I use might not be for everybody, but it will give you a good a good direction in which to in which to go. So we're gonna go file new on Pixelmator. And then we're going to go 1280 on the width, 720 on the height, and click OK. And I'm just going to resize my um, my overlay for a second, my canvas, shall I say? Um, in this one as well, we're going to use rulers because they're going to be sort of a degree of needing to measure something out. So we're going to use rulers. Don't let that alarm you. I'm not great with numbers, so um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I'm going to go to View, and then Show Rulers, or press Command R on your keyboard, and you'll notice you'll get a ruler around your um, outside of your um, canvas. Now what we're going to do is quite simply going to go to the Tools tab. We'll come back to the rulers in a minute, and then we're going to click the little down button, select Rectangle Shape, and I'm just going to draw myself, left click, Draw myself a rectangle shape that comes down to sort of 75 on the left hand side of the ruler mark. And release the left click, and I'm happy with that. Now, to get this fill here, all I've done is I've gone to style, it's just used my last sort of keystroke if you like. I've gone to style, I've dropped down this gradient tab. If you haven't got this style swatch, view, hide or show styles, or command and seven. Now I've gone to gradient on the styles and I've just selected this black default layer here on the far right hand side. The stroke color I'm gonna put on none. The shadow and the inner shadow and reflection I'm gonna turn off. Now, I'm going to want to cut out a shape from this default shape that I've already got. The way I'm going to do that is with a bit of calculation and the pen tool. Now, obviously I want it, you will see the shape that I get in a minute. And I'm going to go along and down and across and up and across. So, I'm going to go to 25 on my left hand side here. So 25 on my left hand side, and left click. And then I'm gonna to go to 300 in on the top of my ruler, but keeping 25 so it's nice and straight on the left hand side. 300 in from the top, 25 from the left hand side. Click. Then I'm going to go to 400 down, down to the very bottom and click. Now, I want my next point to be 400 out from the end and go up to 300 out from the end as I've done on this side for it to be even. So to work that out, a simple, simple way, so I could do it off my head, but I'm going to show you really easy. I'm going to go from 1250 100 would be 1150, 200 would be 1050, 300 would be 950, that's where we want to come up to, and go across to 850 and come up to 950. So I'm going to go across to 850, which would be 400 from the end. So my ruler's on 850, look, on the top. I'm going to keep it nice and straight. Ruler there, 850. Happy. I'm going to come up. To 950 my ruler on the on the top but make sure my ruler on the left hand side stays at 25 left click and then I'm gonna go all the way to the end making sure my ruler on the end left hand side stays on 25 left click again now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna finish off this shape by going to the top corner and again the top corner and finishing it off close path on that one there and you will notice it's automatically in my layers pane made a shape to for me. So I can go to the original shape and press delete and it will leave shape to for me. Really simple. Now, before
before we mess about with shape 2 or anything, um, I'm going to want to do a few things to it. I've got my gradient, I'm happy with that. My colour, I don't want any around the outside, so it's just the out outline stroke. I don't want any, I've just changed it to none. But I do want a shadow. Now on the shadow, I'm going to click this colour swatch and my colours will pop up. I'm going to press black, make it black. And on my offset, I'm going to double click it and type in 10 and press enter on my keyboard. And on my blur, double click, I'm going to press 25, type in 25, press enter on my keyboard. So I get this nice blur shadow around the outside of my shape. Now what I'm going to do, this is sort of um, going into the realms of what you would do for clipping masks as well. But we're not going to use a clipping mask, I'm going to use a colour to fill instead. I'm going to go to my shape, I'm going to go to the tile of my shape, press command and left click on my keyboard. And it highlights around the outside of my shape. Then I'm going to go to create new layer, bottom of my layer swatch create new layer click the plus button then I'm going to go to my gradients now you could use the fill bucket and select a color but I'm just going to go to my gradients select this red here and then make that red gradient but like I said you could go to your fill bucket select a color and just make it red like this but I don't want to do that I want my gradient so I'm going to go back to my move tool or my selection tool what I'm going to do is drag this just a few, just a little bit bigger than the original. Click OK, then drag this layer below the original layer, then press Command D on my keyboard, and now I'll get this nice red glow around the outside. I could take this a little bit further and drag it out so you could see the red as well, which looks quite effective you will, I, well I think anyway, so hopefully you will agree. So that's my top half of my banner selected or complete. So I'm gonna select them both, shape two and the layer, right click and click merge layers. This background layer, select it and delete it. So now I've just got this merged layer, shape two. I'm gonna right click, duplicate, Move it down, so if I want one at the bottom now to sort of look similar to this, I'm then going to go to Edit, Rotate 180 degrees, drag it down to the bottom of the screen so it's level like this. So now I've not got this bit here look like this, I just want this bit. So now I've got a nice overlay. And all I could do is simply put some text on that if I wanted to. Um, let's quickly put some some predefined icons on it, okay? So let me get my icon. All I'm doing is dragging here, and it's just a matter of dragging and resizing. So don't worry about it if I'm going too fast. I've done tutorials on this, lots of tutorials. Please just go and go and check some of them out, um, and you will see. Put it sort of in the center. Um, so I'm happy with that where it is. Um, what else could I do? Let's let's put a few more, and um, let's let's use a a Twitter and a YouTube. And let's resize these so they're the same size. Let's make it sort of this big, and then rotate it. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Happy. Cool. Now if I resize this one. If I put it closer to this one, it will make it the same size, or it will tell me when it's made the same size. Then tilt it around. I'm not entirely sure that, that is the same size. Now it should be. Click OK. So that looks quite nice. And on the bottom, we could sort of put um, some Xbox buttons. Let's, let's have a look at some Xbox buttons. It's quite a nice size, I suppose. It's quite nice. Sure, we'll have some PlayStation buttons as well somewhere. These will be huge. Oh, click OK. So I know I'm going quick on this, but it, this part is really whatever you want to do. It's 
it's not down to me it's down to you whatever you want it to be whatever you want it to do so that's sort of so I'm happy with that and then just put some text in to show you apply um, so to show my screen ID or whatever it might be so that looks quite nice so that's just a quick quick um, overlay for you um, I'll, tr I'll render that out and put it on the screen right now so um, yeah if you have any questions any problems just um, leave them in the comments below thanks a lot for watching hope this helps catch you later